a warm greeting to everyone i am dm kalai selvi assistant professor cac department rmd engineering college now we are going to see about types of linked list in data structures linked list is actually a collection of nodes which are connected each other using a next pointer so depending on the way in which the links are going to use to maintain the urgency there are several types so we have linear linked list or simply we can say a linked list singly linked list so if you see we have a head head node that will be the first node in the list and the next pointer which will connected you have only one pointer which will be having the address of a next node in the list so that's why it is called singly linked list that means you have only one pointer which will have the all the address of the next node in the list next we are going to see circular linked list in circular linked list we have actually two types singly linked circular singly linked list and circular doubly linked list if this is an example of a circular singly linked list that is each node will, each node will have the next pointer that will point to the next node in the list if you see in the singly linked list the last node the last node in the list will will be null the next pointer of the last node in the list will be null but if you're going for a circular linked list, the last node is connected to the first node in the list. That is the last node, X pointer value. For example, if this is 100, If this is 100, 200, I am just uh, mentioning the memory allocation of each node. This is 300. The next pointer of A will have value 200. The next pointer of B will have the value 300. The next pointer of C will have the the address of the first node in the list head pointer so the next node will be having the value 100 next we are going to see doubly linked list so doubly linked list is used to travel in a list both in forward and backward direction in singly linked list you can able to travel only towards the forward direction so for by directional purpose, we are using doubly linked list. So the first node in the list will be the head. The last node in the list will be the tail. So using this, we can able to uh, cal uh, go in forward and backward direction. If it is a circular doubly linked list, the last node. If it is a circular doubly linked list, the last node will be connected to the first node. If it is a circular singly linked list, in singly linked list, the last node will be connected to the first node. So, circular linked list can be implemented both in singly linked list and in doubly linked list. Now, we are going to see what are the operations available in a list. So, you can able to create a list. Traversing means uh, you are going to travel from the starting to till the end. You can travel anywhere in the list. Inserting an item in the list. Deleting an item in the list. And also you can able to concatenate that is joining the two list into a one single list. Why we are saying list as an abstract data type. So it's a data type defined by the user. You can for uh, uh, we have primitive data types and even on a class object is also a user defined data type. But we're going for an abstract data type means the data type, the type of the data which the variable is going to hold will be defined by the user. It is not, not less simple like a intent float. The details of the implementation will be hidden and the 
Details of how the list is implemented or how the insertion function is written is no longer required. So we will have a list or a list implemented. Just we'll go have the calling of insert, delete, and traverse, and how this method and all created that will not be known to the end user. Now we are going to see. Now we are going to see the structure of a node for a student. We'll have a roll number, name, age. So each node in the list will have roll number, name and age. And the next pointer will hold the address of the next node. Now we are going to create it. So for creating a node, we will be using malloc functions to create a node. The size will be the similar to the structure of a node. So the head, we have created a node name as head. So this node can hold the value of roll number, name and age. And it will have the next pointer. Will Initially, it will be null. And further of adding a new, uh, new item in the list, the next pointer will have the address of the next node. So if they have n number of nodes, then first node will be the head and uh, the each node will, and the next next node will have using a next pointer, we are going to connect it. So now we are going to uh, see the code for creating a list of n nodes. So first we are going to get how many elements you are going to enter. For example, I'm going to enter for 10 elements, 0 to 10. So if it is a zero means that will be the head node and I'm allocating the memory for that one. And if it is not zero means it will be the next node. So using a dummy variable P, I'm allocating the memory and I'm using P equal to P next variable line. I'm just connecting the link between the nodes. Now we are going to display the contents of the nodes using a traversal. First, we will be passing the address of the head node and until we reaching the, so P is equal to head. So now, until we reaching the null, why we are giving here at this null is the address of the la, next pointer address of the last load in a single linked list is null. Until we are reaching the last node, we have to print the corresponding data p roll number, p name, p uh, at age. And using counter variable, I am counting to the next next uh, items in the list. So equal uh, using p equal to p next, I am pointing to the next item in the list. So in main function, I am giving the message as, I mean, a, a function call x display of it. Next, we are going to see how to insert a node. For insert, you can able to insert at the beginning, at the end, and also at the middle. If you are going to insert at the beginning it is made to point to a new node and new node should point to the previously first element if you're going to add at the end the last node now should point to the new node and the new node points to the new node next pointer points to null but if you are going to add in the middle you have to change two next pointers uh, values the previous node now points to the new node, new node points, uh, next pointer points to the next node. Thank you.